Hey Gunpla TikTok. So today we're going to be working with this thing here. I told you guys I'd let you know how it does. So let's jump into this. You guys can see how it works afterwards. We're going to be working on painting the back of the Stargazer hands because I just realized that I missed those last night. Let's see how this thing works. Okay guys, so here we go. As you can see, I'm working with a piece from the hand of the Stargazer SD. I'm actually applying the white to the back of it because I didn't realize until after I had already painted it by hand that I needed to do white on the back of the hands. So jumping into this, I'm going to tell you right now, at first I thought it wasn't producing any paint, so I just checked my usual stuff, the nozzle tip, because I'd already used it once to put a single coat on, and it worked fine. And so I decided to check the nozzle tip and compare it on the box to see how it does. And it produces a very small bead of paint. I don't know if it's a two millimeter or if it's a three millimeter, but it's small. That being said, I uh, now think this thing would probably be best for touch-ups. Not necessarily as doing a whole project. It's not going to replace my main compressor, but it is going to be great if I need to do a quick touch-up or whatever. Also, after looking at the diagrams online for this thing and everything else, I've determined one thing you're going to need to buy if you want to use this thing, especially if you're in a high humidity area, is a moisture trap. It doesn't seem to have one on the diagrams. They don't show one, so... A moisture trap is going to be a necessity if you want to keep your, your painting good. Now, I bought this thing on Amazon for $50. It is I-M-Y-Y-D-S. That's the brand name. I can't pronounce that because there's no way to pronounce that. Anyways, um, actually there probably is. I just can't pronounce for shit. Uh, but yeah, this thing would be worth it if you're doing it for a touch-up airbrush. It's not terrible. The pin's pretty good. And it, the compressor itself is compatible with other airbrushes. So if you don't like their pin, you can swap it out to a different air pin. And it'll still work just fine. Okay, guys, so there you have it. So, like I said, there's only a few complaints I have about this thing. One, it has no moisture trap. So if you're going to buy one, buy yourself a moisture trap to go on it. The second thing is that and it's just a minor complaint from my friend is I'm used to my ones with the trigger guard, but, or the, the hand grip, the pistol grip, pistol grip. But they said this thing is adaptable to any type of airbrush. So airbrush pin, I should say. So I should be able to take my ones off my other one and attach it to this one and use it just fine. That being said, it's not a terrible value. I mean, it is what it is, but it's great for touch-ups, really. I mean, that was a small amount of stuff I had to do, and it did perfect. 